Hi, this is Tracy HD, and I want to thank you for joining me today for our weekly Oracle and Tarot card reading. You can use this reading as a pick a card reading one, two, or three, or you could use it as a blended reading for the beginning, middle, and end of the week. As I shuffle the deck, I'm asking all light beings, angels, and God, please relay the message I need to share with my viewers for the highest good of all. And I'll take the top card for the beginning of the week, take a card from the center for the middle of the week. And I'm going to take a card from the bottom. And these cards I'm using today is the Oracle of the Mermaids by Lucy Cavendish. And if you're interested in purchasing these, there is a link below in the description box. You could just click on the link. It'll take you straight to Amazon to purchase these beautiful cards. Uh, there's also a review of these cards on my playlist down below. So check that out too. And let's see what we have at the beginning of the week. We have freedom. And it says independence and self-determination and this is card number seven for those of you that follow numerology and this freedom card is you know telling us that you know sometimes in life we identify and define ourselves by the groups or organizations we belong to somewhere along the way our unique energy can be muffled with this card the mermaids are asking you to consider who you are when you're not a member of a family, a relationship, or an organization. It's time to be self-determined rather than considering the needs of the group, which is noble and wonderful. Um, but, you know, you, you got to consider your own needs at this point. Um, the mermaids are asking you to be independent with this card, uh, to have at last your own source of money, um, you know, maybe to be able to follow your own dreams instead of maybe following the crowd. I mean, this is a card of independence. And when I see the red color, uh, the color red to me is a sign of courage. Okay. And this card's telling you to have a sense of who you are, you know, whether in or outside of a loving relationship, uh, to know who you are and what it is that you love and like and wish to have, uh, you know, for your life, apart from, you know, the desires of your family or groups that you belong to. Okay, because the group mind has at this time dominated uh, maybe your feelings of independence and self-determination. You know, people usually go along with the crowd when they belong to a group. They follow the group rules and this and that. And this card's telling me that, you know, some of you out there might need to gain a little bit more independence. Okay, maybe for too long you've kept your, you know, your needs and your desires silent. But this is time to put yourself out front. Okay, it's your turn. Okay, and this is telling you to, you know, get to know yourself, live your truth, become independent. And then the second card or middle of the month, it says Song of the Siren, card number five, and it says the call, summoning, voice to acknowledge. And this is a beautiful card as well. And this card is telling you that, you know, all elements you know, all, all of the elements that you need are with you, you know, you need to, you know, free your voice, you know, and, and, you know, contribute to the energy of the world. Um, again, it's kind of like an independent card as well, where this one's telling you to be independent. This one's pretty much telling me to, you know, tell you to find your voice. Song of the Siren, find your voice. Okay. Um, you know, maybe even singing. <laughs> Some of you out there may be singers. Um, you know, you need to voice what you feel. Okay. Um, acknowledge things in your world. You know, and, you know, whatever is going on in your life, maybe some of you have to speak up. Okay. And it, it's just a matter of, you know, taking a stand for things, I guess. And then at the end of the month, we have Honor the Masculine. And it's card number 10. And it says, Respecting Men, Embracing the Masculine Divine. And yeah, it doesn't mean that this is for a man or a woman. Because we both have feminine and masculine sides. Okay? Um, it's, it's telling you for many of the men of this world, there's a sense of confusion, shame, and uncertainty about who they are meant to be. If they're masculine, powerful, dominant, and assertive, they run the risk of being seen and experienced as controlling and cruel. Many men feel that their sense of vulnerability and their emotional self has to be buried um, with the act of self, a self who fixes, who knows what to do, who satisfies and 
who makes sure all is well. The idea of masculinity has been so corrupted and overtaken culturally, just as the concept of femininity has been hurt too. And we have many wounded heroes, wounded goddesses, wounded gods in this world. This does, you know, none of us any good, okay? I mean, you don't have to be masculine 24-7 or feminine 24-7. This card's encouraging a healthy masculinity in all people. That, that's how I take it, you know? And we have so many stereotypes out there about, you know, how a man must behave or how women must behave and, you know, that men are supposed to, you know, be the problem solvers and they're not supposed to cry or show emotion and stuff. And, and that's all nonsense. You have to be balanced in both your light and dark sides of yourself. And it seems to me that a lot of you out there might even be disconnected from what your true self is and you're not expe expressing both your uh, feminine and masculine side, you know. So if, if you're a man, it's time to understand and embrace, you know, your, your masculinity, but also your feminine side as well. You know, think back to your childhood and your youth before you were told who you are and what it is, you know, to be a man by whatever culture you were in or, you know, your family or your schooling or your relationships. Consider the possibility that, you know, your own masculinity has been constructed to protect you. Uh, perhaps some aspects of what you've been taught have created sadness and shame and maybe even, you know, you've missed out on being authentic, your authentic self. So I would say to, you know, if you're a woman, embrace your masculine side. If you're a masculine, embrace your feminine side and also your masculine side. Because like I said, we're, we're blend of both feminine and masculine energies and we need to balance them out. You know, if you're a man, it's okay to cry. If it's a woman, it's okay to be strong and be the breadwinner. That's how I see it. So this is a week of, you know, claiming your independence, finding your voice about something. And this here, you know, it, it, honoring your masculine side, whether you're a man or a woman. Maybe there's something at the end of the week that you're going to have to take a stand on and be strong about. We're going to have to maybe use logic to reason it out and not go by, you know, emotions, which are seen as, as feminine and, and be, you know, more of the masculine energy. Very interesting week. If you've enjoyed this reading, please like it by giving it a thumbs up, share it, and above all, subscribe because I will be back with more.